Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, Good okay. Morning. Yeah. Good morning. How are hey, you? Hey, Can you see my PowerPoint? Yes. I see. Okay. I see. Let's wait for your classmates, okay? We still have three minutes to wait for your classmate. Okay. While waiting, I want you to prepare your family and friends. Okay. Last week, we didn't have a class for family and friends, right? Because it's holiday. So today, we're going to have a review and we're going to talk about the next topic. Okay. Okay. Okay, and prepare your yellow book and your pen. have a game today i don't think we're going to have a game because we need to finish your um lesson for today and you need to do yellow book because um last time you didn't do yellow book right we need to write in your yellow book we need to of course practice your writing in english Okay, it's already nine. I want you to open your book on page. Oh, only 12 participants. Open your book on page 18. 18. 18. Open your book on page 18. Last meeting, we talked about Past simple, right? Our first topic in this page, on this page is about past simple, right? And we talk about your regular and irregular verbs. Am I right? What is the use of past simple again? When do we use past simple? Anyone? Can you remember when do we use past simple? What is the use of past simple? Anyone? Who wants to answer? Let's just uh, let's just have a quick review about our last topic. What is past simple, or when do we use past simple? We use past simple to talk about action that start and finish in the past. Very good. So that is past simple. Now, in past simple, we also have what we call regular and irregular verbs. What will happen to the verb? What will happen to the regular verb if it's in past simple? What are we going to add to irregular verbs if it's in past simple? We're going to add D or <clears throat> ED. Very good. How about in um, irregular verbs? What will happen to the verb? If it's uh, an irregular verb, what will happen to your verb? 
if we want to make it in past simple. What will happen to the spelling? Spelling. Spelling. Yes. spelling will completely change. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about present perfect. Last time we have past simple. Now, let's proceed to present perfect. Okay. According to your book, what is present perfect? Sawish, what is present perfect according to your book? Use the present perfect to talk about action in the past that are still to now. Very good. Or another explanation here. The present perfect is used to indicate a link. What do we mean by link? A connection. A connection between the present and the past. The time of the action is before now, but not specified. We are often more interested in the result than in the action. Always remember that present perfect link connect connect a connection connect a between link a between the present and the past present perfect นะคะใช้เพื่อบ่งบอกถึงความเชื่อมโยงระหว่างปัจจุบันกับอดีตค่ะช่วงเวลาของเหตุการณ์ก็คือเกิดก่อนปัจจุบันก็คือในอดีตนั่นเองแต่ว่าไม่ได้ระบุเวลาที่ชัดเจนนะคะเรามักจะสนใจในผลลัพธ์มากกว่าค่ะ okay. The present perfect is used to describe <coughs> look at this one an action or situation that started in the past and continues in the present, meaning the situation happened in the past, started in the past, and still happening in the present. Look at my example here. I have lived in Bristol since 1984. Look at this one. Started since, since 1984 up until now. I am living in Bristol. So I we use present perfect to talk about situation that started in the past and still continues at the in the present. Present perfect ใช้อธิบายการกระทำหรือสถานการณ์ที่เกิดขึ้นในอดีตและผลยังคงดำเนินมาจนถึงปัจจุบันค่ะจากตัวอย่าง I have lived in Bristol since 1984ก็คือฉันอาศัยอยู่ที่บริสตันบริสตันก็คือเมืองในประเทศอังกฤษค่ะอาศัยอยู่มาตั้งแต่ปี1984และตอนนี้ก็ยังคงอาศัยอยู่ที่นี่คือผลมันยังตามมาจนถึงปัจจุบันเมื่อก่อนเราอยู่ที่ที่นี่ตอนนี้เราก็ยังอยู่ที่นี่ค่ะ okay. next we also use present perfect to describe an action performed during a period that has not yet finished An action performed during a period that has not yet finished. Look at my example here. She has been to the cinema twice this week, and the week isn't over yet. For example, in a week we have seven days, right? And then she has been to cinema twice a week. For example, Monday and Tuesday. She went to the cinema Monday and Tuesday, and then, and then we still have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. She can go again on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday, or on Sunday. That is when we use present perfect. If the action performed during a period that has not yet finished. Present perfect ใช้อธิบายการกระทำที่เกิดขึ้นและยังไม่สิ้นสุดผลของการกระทำนั้นเช่นเธอไปลงหนังสองครั้งต่อสัปดาห์ซึ่งยังไม่สิ้นสุดสัปดาห์แปลว่ายังไม่สิ้นสุดผลของการกระทำค่ะโอเค next a present perfect is also used to describe a repeated action in an unspecified period between the past and now for example we have visited Portugal several times The period of um, the time or the period is unspecified. Only, 
only uh, said several times. We don't know when it started, but we don't know when it ends or still continuing. Bye, 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 bye. But, bye. but we use um, unspecified term here several times. We have visited Portugal several times. Present perfect นะคะใช้อธิบายการกระทำที่ทำหลายครั้งจนตอนนี้ก็ยังคงทำอยู่อย่างเช่นพวกเราไปไปไปเมืองโปรตุเกสหลายครั้ง Okay Next We also use uh, Please uh, mute your microphone. We also use present perfect to describe an action that was completed in the very recent past expressed by just. And then later on, we're going to discuss this one just already before and yet. For example, I have just finish my work we also use present perfect from the for the things that we just finished a while ago no? present perfect ใช้กับการกระทำที่เพิ่งเสร็จสิ้นเมื่อเร็วๆนี้โดยใช้คำว่า just ในการอธิบายเหตุการณ์นั้นอย่างเช่น I have just finished my homework my work ก็คือฉันเพิ่งเสร็จงานของฉันเดี๋ยวนี้เองค่ะ okay next How are we going to form the present perfect? The present perfect of any verb is composed of two elements. The appropriate form of the auxiliary verb to have present tense and plus the past participle of the main verb. Okay, for affirmative form, we have our subject plus your verb to have. Uh, always remember uh, your verb to have should be in present Tense or present simple. While your past participle, where where your verb should be in past participle. Now look at this one. If your subject is singular, therefore you're going to use has. If your subject is plural, you're going to use have. And the past participle for regular oh, verb. For regular verb, you're going to add ed or d. If the word ends with letter e, you're going to add d. But if not, you're going to add ed. And then there is also what we call as, as participle v3, your verb 3. Whereas, for example, the present simple is it. Your verb 2 is eight, while your verb 3 is eaten. No, verb three is what we call past participle also. Okay. โครงสร้างประโยค present perfect นะคะ subject ตามด้วย have has แล้วก็ตามด้วย past participle ก็คือ verb สามนั่นเองถ้าประธานเป็นเอกพจน์ให้ใช้ has ถ้าประธานเป็นพหูพจน์ให้ใช้ have ค่ะ Okay. <coughs> okay. Let's answer your book page 18. Open your book on page 18. And let's answer activity 3. Complete sentences. Use the present perfect or past simple. We will decide whether it is present perfect or past simple. Open your book on page 18. 18. Page 18. Page 18. Okay, are you ready? Get your pen. Let's answer number two. Sasi Patson, can you read and answer number two? You have lived in this house for 10 years. Very good. You have lived in this house for 10 years. How do you say so that it is in present perfect? How did you know that it is in present perfect? 
Because the sentence expresses what? Expresses action that happened in the past and still happening in the present. Okay, Titaya, can you answer number three? Read and answer number three. Lucy has went to the cinema three days ago. Look at, look at the sentence. Is it in present perfect or past simple? Three days ago, meaning the action is or uh, the action was already happened. What should be? <clears throat> what is? Continue. Oh. What is the past tense of go? Titaya. Goes. Past tense. Goes is in present simple. How about the past tense? Go is is is. Is an example of irregular verbs. Irregular verbs. So what is the past tense of go? <clears throat> Went. Went. Okay, very good. Thank you for raising your hand, Sawish. Okay, Sawish, answer number four. We have been best friends since we were six. Six. Okay, very good. How did you know, Sawish, that the sentence is in present perfect form? Tense. How did you know? Mm -hmm. Because the sentence shows or expressed that the, act the action happened in the past and still happening in the present. Okay, for number five, let's call... How about <clears throat> Kanya Pak si Lara? Kanya Pak, can you answer number five? The boy have hey go boy in the park yesterday. The boy, I, I listen. I think you are very confused. Look at this one. <clears throat> the boys blank play football in the park yesterday look at your time markers yesterday meaning the action it the action was already finished already done so what are we going to use present perfect or past simple what do you think i think past simple past simple okay what is the past simple for play what is the past form of play okay with D or ED? With, I did not have ED. ED. With ED. Okay. And next, number six, Tanapat. Can you answer number six, Tanapat? Kim Don is his dinner last night. Jim, what? Don. What is the past tense of do? Mm, what do you think? What is the past tense of do? Do, does, did. And we have not here, so we need to make the word did in negative form. Did not or didn't eat. Look at this one. I told you before that is in that in present perfect or past simple, we need to change our verb into past form, right? Past participle. But why our verb here in number six is in present simple? Why? Any idea? Okay, always remember, kids, always remember that if we use did or didn't, <clears throat> just the word did or didn't, Always remember that the verb next to it should be in present simple. Okay? Are you finished writing your answer? Okay. I did it. <clears throat> okay. Next, let's proceed. Turn your book on page 19. Turn your book on page 19. Now, we're going to talk about... Already, yet, before, and 
just okay mostly this expression we use it in present perfect we often use just yet before and already with the present perfect because they are related to the present moment lao mark chai already yet just before ใน present perfect เพราะว่ามันสื่อถึงช่วงเวลาในปัจจุบัน Okay thank you teacher Nama. Oh, before we proceed to our discussion may I ask uh, may I ask may Tasit may Tasit can you read listen and read what is she talking about on page 19 number 1 listen and read what is she talking about can you read my friends and I continue my friend and I have written a written. Film. We decide from decide to perform it for our school. I am a good builder, so I already built <laughs> the first car and had just finished the costume. I haven't learned the script, so I a bit. Nervous, but I'm excited to to I have been in a play before I had with. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you, Mitasil. Okay. Let's continue. Okay. First, let's proceed to already. Everybody say already. 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 Okay, very good. Already used with the present perfect means before now. Before now, meaning it happened a while ago. We use it to emphasize, emphasize that something happened before something else or earlier than expected, meaning... Uh, something happened before something else or earlier than expected. For example, look at my example here. I have already spent my salary and it's two weeks before payday. And the train left, the trains left already. Oh, always remember, look at this one. Look at the placing of our already. Already can come between your auxiliary and the main verb at the end or at the end of the clause. Always remember to put the word already between your auxiliary verb to have and your main verb. And it is also possible to put it at the end of the sentence and always remember kids that if you are using the word already your main verb should be in past participle always remember that already means before now it used to emphasize that something happened before something earlier than expected Okay. We use already in present perfect, which means before the present. It's a reminder of things that happened before another thing. For example, I have already spent my salary and it's two weeks before payday. It means I used my salary for two weeks before payday to get my salary in the next month. Another example, the train left already. It means the train left already. คำว่า already เนี่ยสามารถวางไว้ระหว่าง verb ช่วยกับ verb หลักหรือว่าอยู่ท้ายประโยคก็ได้ค่ะ Okay next let's proceed to the word yet everybody say yet yet yet, yet. okay yet, yet is used with the present perfect means at any time up to now we use it to emphasize that we expect Something to happen soon. Yet in this context is context is only used in negative sentence and question. Look at this one. 
Have you finished your homework yet? Or oh, you can say, I haven't finished it yet. I'll do it after dinner. For another example, where is Sam? He hasn't arrived yet. We are expecting something to come up. That is when we use yet. Okay. Yet comes at the end of the sentence or question. Always remember that when you write or use the word yet, it is only put at the end of the sentence or question. Yet นะคะใช้กับ present perfect ซึ่งหมายถึงเวลาใดก็ตามจนถึงตอนนี้เราใช้เพื่อเน้นย้ําถึงความคาดหวังบางสิ่งจะให้เกิดขึ้นเร็วๆนี้ Yet ใช้กับประโยคปฏิเสธแล้วก็คําถามเช่น Have you finished your homework yet? การบ้านคุณเสร็จหรือยัง I haven't finished it yet. I will do it after dinner. ก็คือยังไม่เสร็จเลยจะทําหลังกินข้าวเย็นนี้แหละกับอีกตัวอย่างหนึ่งค่ะ Where is Sam? Sam you know? He hasn't arrived yet. ก็คือเขายังมาไม่ถึงเลยคำว่า yet เนี่ยใช้ลงท้ายประโยคอ่าประโยคบอกเล่าแล้วก็ลงท้ายประโยคคำถามค่ะเอาลงท้ายประโยคปฏิเสธแล้วก็คำถามค่ะ Okay, thank you, teacher Nama. Next, let's proceed to the word just. Everybody say just. 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 Okay. Just. Is used with the present perfect means a short time before or meaning it's like really a while ago. No? For example, I have just seen Susan coming out of the cinema. Mike or Mike just called. Can you ring him back, please? Oh, look at this one. The placing of our just. Just comes between the auxiliary verb to have and the past participle. Just like already, it is also placed between our auxiliary verb and our past participle. participle. Please do not be confused with just and already. Already can be happened um, this, uh, yes, this morning or maybe 10 minutes uh, when Five hours ago, ten hours ago. While in while we use just, it can be a minute ago, a seconds ago. It's just like a while ago. Just just ใช้ใน present perfect หมายถึงก่อนหน้านี้ไม่นานค่ะอย่างเช่น I just seen Susan coming out of the cinema. ฉันเพิ่งเห็นซูซานออกมาจากโรงหนังอีกตัวอย่างหนึ่งนะคะ My just called. Can you ring him back, please? ไม่เพิ่งโทรมาคุณโทรกลับหาเขาได้ไหม just เนี่ยจะวางไว้ระหว่าง verb ช่วย have has แล้วก็ past participle ก็คือ verb สามค่ะ okay. always remember and we put just between auxiliary verb to have and your past participle okay let's proceed to before before anyone who knows before what is before before is used with the present perfect means earlier than the time or event mentioned. It also means to indicate the existence of past events. Okay, example. I have seen her before, meaning the action when we use before, the action happened way back before. No, like uh, it happened Three years ago, five months ago, one year ago. Now, look at this one. Before comes at the end of the sentence or question, just like the word yet, they are placed at the end of the sentence or question. คำว่า before นะคะใช้กับ present perfect แปลว่าก่อนช่วงเวลาใดช่วงเวลาหนึ่งและยังหมายถึงการคงอยู่ของเหตุการณ์ในอดีตตัวอย่าง I have seen her before ฉันเคยเจอเธอมาก่อน before จะวางอยู่ท้ายประโยคบอกเล่าแล้วก็ประโยคคำถามค่ะ Okay Thank you teacher Nama Next Okay Let's answer your activity on page 19 
page 19. Let's answer, read, and circle. Okay. Get your pen. Let's answer number two. Maybe we can call uh, Triti Payanipa. Can you read and answer number two? Carl has hasn't hasn't traveled traveled by plane just or before just. what do you think is the answer just or before just are you sure can we put just at the end before. of the sentence before before okay thank you next anakon Anakon, can you read and answer number three? Number three. <clears throat> you haven't eaten your breakfast already. Already or yet? You haven't eaten. You haven't. Meaning the action hasn't. Uh, haven't. <clears throat> sorry, hasn't. Um. Meaning the action is not already. Uh, done. What is the answer? You yes. haven't eaten your breakfast? Yes. Yet. You are expecting of something. Use yet. Okay. Number four, let's call um, Soratorn. Soratorn, can you read and answer number four? I got some exciting new i i have just heard very good i have just heard some exciting news we cannot miss yet because we put yet at the end of the sentence okay next okay next we call Mm. How about Kanyarat? Kanyarat? Kanyarat, can you hear me? Kanyarat? How about the others? How about um uh, how about Captain? Captain, can you hear me, Captain? Captain? Can you hear me? Captain, can you answer, read and answer number five? What to hear? Answer number five. Read and answer number five. Amy hasn't missed a famous person before. Before. Very good. Why did we use before? Hmm? Because what? Can we put just at the end of the sentence? No. Okay. And last number six. Let's go. How about Ponlapat? Ponlapat, can you hear me? Can you read and answer number six? Ponlapat? Ponlapat, can you hear me? Can you answer number six? Read and answer number six, Ponlapat. Ponlapat is not responding. How about Nakan? Nakan, can you answer number six? Read and answer number six. Billy and I have yet what the cars. Is it yet or already? Where do we put yet? Yet should be put or should be written. At the end of the sentence, therefore, what is the answer, Nakan? Already. Already. Okay. Are you finished? Finish writing? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, let's um, practice your speaking activity four. Look at activity four. Write sentences about Mike. So we are not going to write. We, I am going to ask some of you to make a sentence about Mike. Number one is already given. Mike has just made lunch. About travel to Spain before. Sawish, can you make a sentence about Mike? 
traveled to Spain before. Tawish? Darn. Mike? Mike? Has? Mike has traveled to Spain before. Very good. Mike has traveled to Spain before. Okay, Sasipat Son. Number three. Oh, sorry, sorry again. Sorry, Sawish. Um, please uh, notice the letter X here, meaning if it's X, it's in negative form. Again, Sawish, can you rephrase your sentence? What is the Mike, negative of has? Mike hasn't traveled to Spain before. Very good. Okay, Sasipat Son, number three. Mike has just. What is the past participle of go? Mike has just went into the garden the garden or mike has just went into the garden, garden. okay next titaya my my has already finished her work very good next how about Kanyapak? Kanyapak? I have a coat before. Mike hasn't rode. Rode is it road or ridden? Past participle of pride. Ridden. Mike hasn't ridden. Ah. Uh, Horse before. Okay, next. Next, Tanapat. My hasn't watered the pen yet. Very good. Next, we have, how about Saraton? Hmm. Saraton. How about Chawarot? Oh, okay, Soraton, Soraton. What is it? Answer number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Already do the washing up. Can you make a sentence using past participle? Or present perfect, I should say. Where are you? <laughs> <clears throat> How about Siwakon? Siwakon, can you hear me? Siwakon? Yes, sure. Okay, can you make a sentence? Mike? Siwakon, already do the washing up. Mm. Mike? What? <clears throat> Mike, where are you? Who wants to help Siwakon? Who wants to help Siwakon? Who wants to help Siwakon? Mm -hmm. Kasi Patson, can you help Siwakon? Already do the washing up. Mike? Mike has already do their washing up. Already. What is the past participle of do? Did. Did. Okay. And last, last one. Let's call. Um, how about Orasaya? Orasaya, can you hear me? Orasaya. Oh, no responding. Last sentence. How about Tashini? Tashini, can you hear me? Can you make a sentence about Mike using the last, last item here? Nakan, Nakan, 
Can you make a sentence about my practice the guitar and yet? My hat yet hasn't. We have negative here. My hasn't. My hasn't. Hasn't yet partic at the guitars. Okay, always remember to put yet at the end of the sentence, okay? So it should be my hasn't practiced the guitar yet, okay? Thank you, Nakan. Okay, now I wanted to get your yellow book. Please get your yellow book. Write the date today. Write the date today. Write past simple and present perfect. Write the direction circle, the past simple and present perfect form of the verb to complete the sentences. Okay. Write the date today, write past simple and present perfect and write the direction. Please write properly. Are you finished? No. no. Okay. Still have seven minutes. Tell me if you're finished writing the date, okay? Finish? No. No, no. Finish is here. How about the others? Finish. Finish is here. Who's still writing? Faster. We still have four minutes to write. Fish. Okay, let's proceed. Number one. Tim was or Tim has been in the hospital since Friday. What do you think is the answer? Was or has been? Has. Has been. Has been. Very good. Number two. Rosie wrote has written a story last week, last week, meaning the action already happened. But are we going to has use written. wrote or has written? Has written. Yes. Hmm? Yes. The action wrote. is already happened and wrote. it's not happening wrote. right now. Wrote. wrote. Very good. Wrote. Next, Ben went, has gone 
to the supermarket yesterday. Look at this one, yesterday. Meaning the action already happened and it is no longer longer happening right now. Went or Wait. has gone? Went. Went, Wait. very good. Anna worked, has worked at this school for five years. Had worked. Worked or has worked? That's word. That's word. That's word. Very good. Next, number five. Grandma visited, has visited us last week. Look at their time expression. Yes. Last week. Yes. Mm. Yes. Visited. What is the answer? Visited. Visited. Very good. Oh. <laughs> number. Hmm? What's Number six, I ate, I haven't, I have eaten pizza for lunch for lunch yesterday. Eight. Yes, because our time expression yesterday, it only happened yesterday and it is not happening right now. Okay. She saw, she has seen a penguin last June. So. So, so, so very good. So. I lived, I have lived in the same village since I was born. Lived yes. or have lived? Have, have lived. lived. Have, have lived. lived. Have lived. Have very lived. good. Okay. You still have how many minutes? Two minutes. Well, we will extend. I will give you extra time. I take a picture already. Finish writing. Finish writing. Everyone finish. No, to share. No. No. How about the others? Are you writing? You have to write because at the end of the semester, I will check your yellow book if you are really writing. Because your yellow book has also points, not only word wall but also your yellow book. So please write your activity, okay? It's already time. I still give you another three minutes to write. Three minutes. Tanapat, are you finished? No. No. We're not. What number are you now? What number? Seven. Six. Number seven, six, okay. Three minutes, two minutes. If you are not fin, if, if we end this meeting and you are not yet finished, um, 
you need to watch it again this afternoon if uh, when it is posted in YouTube, okay? Because I have to prepare for my next class. Two minutes. One minute. Mr. Patson, are you finished? Not, not, not yet. Teacher. What number are you now? Number three, teacher. But I'm um, take a photo, like. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. Number five. Very good. Please take a photo. I finished, teacher. Okay, very good. Take a photo. <laughs> Take a photo and I will see you next meeting. Did you take a photo? Yes. 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 Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye. Bye, teacher.